Vidur is a Sanskrit word which means knowledgeable and wise. Sanskrit is a ancient language from Indian subcontinent and quite a deep one. But in this video, instead of teaching you Sanskrit, I am just going to introduce you this new AI tool called as Vidur, which is primarily a large scale LLM inference simulator. At the very high level, what this video is doing, it is a first full stack LLM inference simulator. It finds optimal deployment settings in minutes, maximizing your GPU output. You can compare different models with it on different matrices, such as how long does it take for first token to appear, how much is latency between the tokens, and then once you settle on it as per your GPU, you can select the best optimal LLM as per your own choice. The thing is that LLM inference systems are like high performance engines. They are complex and they are powerful. Efficient deployment is a challenge, but this research at Microsoft and Georgia Tech shows suboptimal configurations can double your cost. So if you are looking to deploy a large language model in an enterprise environment for a production load, I think tools like Vidur can help in settling you down for your optimal or near optimal configuration. As I said earlier, this Vidur is a full stack LLM inference simulator because it finds optimal deployment settings very, very quickly. Deploying LLMs involve many decisions. You have to select your GPUs, you have to settle on parallelism strategy, you have to uh, decide on batch size and much, much more. So Vidur's lightning fast simulations explore this space in minutes and no GPU required by the way. So there are three main features of Vidur. First, first and foremost, if your setup is not adapting your deployment configuration according to your workload, that can double your cost and Vidur helps you out. Also, it enables you to identify your latency constraints and then it can also settle you upon architectural differences whether you want to go with gpt whether you want to go with uh, llamas or alpacas or whatever there is and in the future so i believe a research tool like this can help you out in deciding on those nuances when there is a lot of scale involved and cost is a big issue the good thing about Vidur is that you can install it locally, but you would need a good system for that. But if you want to try it out on few of the models, they have given this demo, which I will drop the link in video's description. So if you look at it and if you click on the left hand side, you can go with basic config selection, for example, let me select it. And then for example, here you can settle on your model. Maybe you'll, maybe I'll just go with i2 from microsoft and then there are a few parameters which you need to select like um ttf tslo percentile tbt and what exactly they mean is given in their github repo which you can check it out you can select some of the values as per your configuration and here you can do a lot of good stuff like what sort of gpu you are using you can go with a100 or h100 and whatever your GPU is, you can just mention it in that SKU. SKU primarily stands for stock keeping unit and it is just, you can see it in a lot of inventory systems. So for example, you go with maybe A100 and then you can select your batch size as how much data you're processing, maybe 32 scheduler, you can go with um, Orca plus or VLLM, whatever you want. Let's go chunk size as 256. And then you can select your parallel dimensions and then tensor parallel dimensions. And we already have set the above ones. Now, one point here is here this TTFT SLO and then TBT SLO. These are the performance matrices. So for example, this TTFT stands for time to first token. That is the time required for the first token to show up from the time user submits a request. Then this TBT stands for time between tokens. That is a latency between each output token. And then of course there is some things with capacity, which is maximum queries per second that can be served 
while satisfying latency SLOs, which are your um, service level operations or um, agreements which you need to fulfill. So here it says that no config satisfies the SLO. It seems that you would need to change your SLO. And so you can play around with these values until you get it right and then you should be good enough. For example, you just can set it here or just set it here or just move it. On the left hand side, you can go with config comparison. So if I select it, you can compare it between models. For example, you can say, okay, this is Llama to 7 billion. And then you can also select maybe Quen 72 billion. And then you can just select your whatever trace is there and the rest of the options. And then you can add your comparison points. And of course, one thing I noticed that they should also mark something static as what exactly is required here. But that thing is not working. I'm just randomly selecting stuff. And this is okay. So there is no configuration to compare. So you would need to play around with this to get this right. And then there is some um, Pareto curve analysis, which you can check out if you like. And then, uh, for example, this Pareto curve analysis is a tool that helps you visualize the trade offs between different performance uh, matrices and helps you identify the best configuration and there you go so best configuration is there so it is uh, it says that we should have um 1.80 qps qps per dollar this is mfu and this seems like top one is the best configuration analysis and then also this is helping you out to select the best config based on your slo and cost budget it also provides additional visualization uh, which we also saw at the front there you go. So this is additional things which you can check it out. And there is a lot of information there between different models which you can select out of performance matrices and a lot of other stuff. These are the CDFs, TTFT, TVT. Some of the graphs are there. And quite easily readable and self-explanatory. And you see that code lama is at the top, by the way. Amazing stuff. So you see a lot of good things are happening and this is based on this research by the way so there is a paper which you can read of course um, this is abstract i'm not going to read all of it at the moment but all all in all pretty interesting tool i think need to play more with it to get better understanding i will drop the link to it in video description read through it let me know and i think it has a practical value in the real world real world where you are deploying llms at scale if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.